<gasps> Got him. Dude, that is a nice one. Oh. That was killer. Man, what a cool fish. Some of the best loins right there on the market. Man, this is going to be a good dinner tonight. In this video, I just wanted to show my new number one lure for catching triple tail off of crab trap buoys. This is proven to be extremely good especially for these bigger, smarter triple tail that just will not go off the buoys to eat. Even if they're not hungry, this lure has proven to be able to generate results. So if you're gonna be doing some triple tail fishing, highly recommend checking out this video, watching to see how it works, and then taking it out on your next trip to see how it performs firsthand. But as far as the ultimate pros of this lure versus the other ones I've tried, number one, first of all, it just has great action, it has great darting action that elicits strikes, even if they're not hungry. I basically do the double twitch pause where I twitch it and then it starts falling slowly like a, like a, a, a shrimp going down and then it jumps up real quick and, and it basically mimics a, a scared shrimp, right? That's, that's falling down and then you twitch it and it'll jerk real fast. So it mimics both a scared shrimp and an injured bait fish. You know, bait fish, when they're injured, they're, they're fluttering around. Um, and, and so this does a great job of mimicking both of their main preys. On top of the great action, it is totally weedless. So bury the hook point on this, or you can lay it on the top, but I actually bury it so that I'm ultimate weedless. I can cast super aggressively. I can go around the buoy. I can go around the anchor line without the worry about getting snagged and make sure that I can get this right in front of these triple tails faces. So here's some fun on the water footage of this lure in action with triple tail. And so you can see the buoy right there, that, that black mass under the buoy was a triple tail, a very finicky triple tail. We had tried multiple lures and, uh, and that's me with the blue rod. So I'm over on the left, the blue rod's me. And, and what I ended up doing that finally got the strike is I got the Alabama Leprechaun on there. I, I just twitched it right up against the rope. You can see it and here in a second, it strikes. <gasps> got, him. got him dude that is a nice one oh. <laughs> nice yeah on the <laughs> oh that's a yeah. really good one man that was awesome that guy came up and sucked it down that was killer man what a cool fish so here's an example of the importance of having a weedless lure. So this was a bigger triple tail, and this was just not coming off the rope. It was not it was not chasing anything down, so I had to make an aggressive cast. I let the current basically wrap my line around the rope so that I could get it right in front of its face, and here's what happened. I got him, yep. Nice. Is he in the, he in the booth? Yep. No, no, he's not. Oh nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Around the buoy. All right, Ned's in the back. He's not happy. Not a happy camper. I'll try to get his head up and heck yeah, I was around around the anchor, That's around the buoy line. Nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> Another really good one, dude. Oh heck yeah. Woo! <laughs> Alabama. Whoa, 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 easy. Easy. Alabama leprechaun right there. On his face, we have our custom weighted hooks right there. Oh man, slurped it. Awesome. So as for rigging, make sure to put this on a weighted hook. Yes, it can work on a worm hook. The weighted shank seems to give it just better action and you have some better up and down actions. Triple tail really like the up and down motion of lures. So make sure to go weighted hook you can use. So I'll do the top one up top is a 16th ounce owner. So the 16th ounce works. Uh, I, I like the 1 8th ounce a little bit better. As far as the, the hook, right, a lot of different brands are out there. I would say go with a three-aught hook, most importantly, and then a, either a one sixteenth or a one eighth ounce weight. The, both of them work great. Um, as far as this bottom one, if you're wondering what this is, this is a custom one that we have coming out. It's probably about a month or so out, but I just want to let you know that we do have a hook coming out. This is proven to have very good hookup ratio and super strong. But, uh, but as I said before, really any of these hooks will work great for triple tail. The key is just getting it in front of their face and giving it some nice action in the water. That little quick dart, right, flutter down and they hit on the flutter and, uh, and it's just an excellent, excellent lure. So if you don't yet have these, make sure to go pick them up. They're on fishstrong.com. I'll put a link down below for your convenience, but excellent, excellent lures. First of all, for the triple tail that I mentioned before, also Kobe, I've had some Kobe on the buoys and they smack this but also just snook, redfish, sea trout, flounder. Really, if you're fishing shallow flats with structure on the bottom, whether it's oysters, seagrass, rocks, this is excellent because it can just get down there right in the structure and do that same nice little motion where it looks like a scared shrimp or an injured bait fish. And regardless of what the fish, 
are feeding on, they're gonna come up and smack this lure. So make sure to give it a shot. Once you do buy it from fishstrong.com, we'll actually send you an email with all the detailed rigging on how to use it, what to use it with, the proper equipment to use it with, just everything you need to make sure that you maximize your time out in the water. That's our number one goal. Any questions at all, please leave a comment down below. And if you're new to saltwater angling, just know that we're the best online fishing club for saltwater anglers. We actually guarantee you'll be finding more fish, you'll be saving money in your tackle, and you'll meet a ton of new fishing friends. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.